What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to talk about the top three supplements for building muscle. So let's begin with the three best. Number one on my list has got to be creatine. Creatine has been around for over 20 years and is commonly used in athletes and bodybuilders. They use it to enhance strength, gain muscle and improve exercise performance. Creatine is actually found in food but not in large quantities for a noticeable effect. What does creatine do exactly? Creatine combines with ADP, adenosine diphosphate, to form ATP. This results in the ability to push harder to get that extra rep in the gym. You will notice that when taking creatine, your muscles appear slightly swollen, which is due to the creatine drawing more water into the muscle cells. This is actually a bonus as muscles are controlled by nerves and without sufficient water and electrolyte balance, muscle strength and control can be impaired. Therefore, water within the muscles can optimise overall performance. The optimum dosage is 5 grams a day. I wouldn't advise a loading phase as it is unnecessary and a waste of money. 5 grams a day will do the job just fine. If you are highly interested in training and optimising performance, creatine is a must, mainly due to it being one of the most effective and researched supplements on the market. It is more than safe to use and has no harmful side effects to worry about. In regards to price, a few years ago creatine used to be cheap, however it has got more expensive over time. Mainly due to its effectiveness, I would still highly recommend buying it. Number two on my list is protein powder. For people who are looking to optimise body composition and muscle mass, eating a substantial meal with at least 20-30 to 30 grams of high quality protein every 4-5 to five hours is recommended. How much do you need? 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight is your best bet. However, I will say that you can get away with 0.8 grams per pound if you are taking enough carbohydrates and fats, as they will have a protein sparing effect. On the other hand, if you are in a calorie deficit, I would advise going to the high end of the spectrum for 1.5 grams per pound, as this will prevent muscle loss and provide a satiating effect, which will keep you full and adhering to your diet. Various kinds of proteins include hydrolyzed whey, casein and vegan. I would advise going for whey as it digests incredibly fast which is ideal after a workout and you need it to get protein efficiently or a rush for time. Casein will digest a lot slower and has a much thicker consistency. This would be something you have before bed if you wanted it to digest through the night. Isolate is much more expensive which is not worth the money as it is just protein with extra carbs and fats that have been removed to make it slightly lower calorie. Not enough to make a difference. I have found also when baking it is nowhere near as good as whey. I personally wouldn't sacrifice the taste for a reduction of only 20-30 to 30 calories. Vegan is an option to take if you prefer non-animal sources or if you find whey, casein and isolate too hard on the stomach. Number three on my list is going to be pre-workout. Although pre-workout doesn't directly elicit hypertrophy, when it comes to training it allows you to train harder with more energy and intent which in turn provides a great hypertrophic stimulus. When going to the gym fatigued you won't be able to put the required drive into your sets and will not be able to reap the optimal rewards from the session. Every now and again you need a little boost to feel adequately energised for a demanding session. When it comes to dosage, I've seen time and time again people get hyped up and take double or even triple doses. You don't want to feel high and jittery before a workout. 0.5 to 1 scoop will do, however this can depend on the type of pre-workout you're taking. Always check on the side of the product to see the dosage. What you'll actually find is taking more pre-workout will just hinder your progress due to the interference effect it will have on your sleep which is one of the most important aspects when it comes to recovery and how you feel on a daily basis. In conclusion, you don't actually need these three supplements as you can get them from a well-balanced diet, but for many people who are highly interested in optimising performance and body composition, they are three of the best in terms of validity and success. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and if you have any questions just put them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.